All right, I'm gonna do a little upgrade on my <clears throat> rotisserie. Uh, I said earlier that uh, this thing was built by one of my old bosses, Jerry Fain. He hand built this thing, put a 55 Chevrolet on it, and I've put a couple cars on it. But <clears throat> I've got me some bigger casters and stuff. Actually, they're pneumatic tires that I'm gonna mount on this thing and do a little adjusting on it to where I can get it mounted up there and plan on maybe trying to get that yellow car off there in the next few days. So this is what we're gonna do to it. All right, back out here at it again, trying to get ready to get this Falcon on the road. And uh, now we gotta take and uh, get the uh, rotisserie ready. So we've got the motor apart over here. I gotta knock the pistons out of it and get it checked at the machine shop. We've got the uh, sand blaster that you've seen in other videos I've got put up on here. <clears throat> I got me an ultrasonic parts washer. I'll find out about it. And uh, so now we're going to take and and uh, I got to put me some big wheels. My buddy Tom, I work with, hooked me up with some pneumatic wheels. We're going to roll around on this place until I get the concrete done. And uh, so now I got to cut this piece of pipe and change these old junky wheels right here that's been on that thing forever. And uh, But hey, they worked. And so I'm going to cut that thing off and run that pipe up in there where I can move it in and out. And man, if you are wondering... That wind is absolutely getting it. Just like it always up here is. I should have named this place Windy Acres or something like that instead of Heritage Gate Farms. There we go. out here to try to get finished up on my my rotisserie there i got these wheels as i said earlier or tires and uh i'm going to mount these things on this and just got to weld these on here and we'll have it ready to put the car on it All right, I'm sure some of you has noticed there and everything. I need to do a little better prepping. Of course, this is just a little bit rusty, so no really big deal. But I should have sanded, I should have wire brushed the other one a little bit better. And at least got that off there. It would have probably done a little bit better. So we got her pretty clean this time, though, so that'll work better right now. And here's a neat little trick that the guy that I got these wheels from, my buddy Tom, they both, all of them, all four of the wheels swivel. So in order to make two of them to where you could like drive it up into the corner, he welded these two old body shims on, uh, on this thing to where you just put a bolt through it right there. And that'll keep the thing from spinning to where you could just run it all up in the corner. And he had these four body shims because he would never, never, we would never, use a shim in a car, especially anymore like this, but that's why we had the extra ones on it, because obviously we don't use them on a car. Okay, so after I slid these in, after I got them welded on there, I put them in here, and I really, was, I thought maybe the weight might do it, 
but if you notice, they're twisted a little bit. So I went back, I drilled a hole. I'll show you here in the next one there, but I drilled a hole. And then of course, that was the smallest hole saw I had, the metal hole saw I had. And then I found a bucket of nuts right here. And I'll show you what I got. I bought these bucket of nuts and washers and uh, bolts at an estate sale. So I just grabbed up what I had and luckily I had everything that it took right here in the barn to make this thing work. Thrifty, not cheap, remember that. And then, so since that hole's too big, because my nut would go off down in there, I'm just gonna weld that washer on it, set that on there, weld that nut on there, same difference. I just ended up having to use four washers and four washers I already had cheaper than gas going to town. So I'm pretty happy with how the, all the rotisserie stuff come out. Got the big wheels on it. It's ready to put a car on it. Now it's time for the fun stuff. All right, it's, it's getting real now. It's getting real now. I'm going to put these things here. I got me a template over there, match. I'm going to put these bars right here on. And hopefully tomorrow, this Friday night, hopefully tomorrow, this yellow thing is going to be up on the rotisserie. I'm excited. Oh, my. This drilling these holes through this thing. Oh, Jerry must have bought the good stuff instead of the old cheap tubing because I like to have never got all these holes in that thing. I burn up at least two drill bits. Had to step it up from little to big, but I got them. It's getting real now. Piece of mount the first piece of the rotisserie on this thing. And uh, hopefully we'll be set for this thing to be up in the air tomorrow. Hopefully. That's what we're shooting for. Or what I'm shooting for anyway. There we go. Now that I got started, all I like is finishing. All right. Get in there, baby. Number two. And number three. Well, I said number three. Almost. There it goes. There we go. Shoot chow. This actually just took me forever. But I finally got it all bolted down real good and tightened all up good. Should have waited for me some help. Man, that thing's heavy. That big thing there that rotates around, it is very heavy. But I got it on there. Well, that wasn't the easiest thing in the world, but I got it. So, there's half of it mounted. Check it out. Yeah, old Jerry, he'll be tickled. I had to send old Big Daddy a picture of me putting this thing on here, but I got it on there. And now I'll just have to level everything up and, and switch everything around to where it'll be level. You can see that it's not level, but that I'll I'll get all that stuff straightened up and leveled up, and uh, move these around. Probably have to probably have to drill some more holes in it or whatever, but that's fine. That's what we got it for. Is to use it. Like I said, this will be the hmm maybe fourth fifth car that's put on it, and uh, so Falcon's going on there, baby. Tomorrow night that thing will be up on some wheels. <coughs> Well, here we are, Saturday morning. 
Got a friend of mine coming over. Help me get this thing off and get the back of it put up on and get it loaded up on the rotisserie. So I got to get all this right here out of the way for when he gets here, get the trailer put up here. And I'm actually going to have to put it inside the barn stall there because um, uh, when I get back from the turkey run in Daytona visiting my son, we're going to build a, we're going to build a building right here. So this right here is going to get extended 26 feet out that way and uh, get a new building put up here on the side of the barn, actually a bigger lean-to up here on the side of the barn. So I got to get this stuff moved where I can be ready for my buddy. I still need to go through and see what all the pieces that I have and the pieces that I don't have. That's going to be the next thing. Uh, that way I can get all the pieces that I need off of that black car and um, do something with it. So this will be able to give me everything I've got now that I've got somewhere to put it and got it all out of the weather. When you don't want to walk back and get the keys of the truck, you improvise. Maybe. There we go. This thing's coming off here in a minute. Oh, now we got it. I might have it up too high. There we go. I had it dragging. Have I got something hooked over here on it? Let's see if I got something hooked. <coughs> You got a one man operation, sometimes you just have to do what you gotta do. Trusty tractor. Nothing to it. Look at that. And besides that, that's way more fun than just walking out there and getting the key to the truck and hooking it all up and all that stuff. Right? Nah, I think so. I'm gonna say not a chance, but we're gonna see. No way. No way. No way. Look at that. Been sitting over there in that junkyard for 20 plus years. And sure enough, going to put enough air in it to grow it off this trailer. Look at that. <laughs> no way. I wouldn't have bet five cents that would have held air. Am I going to be two for two? I cannot believe that. Look at that. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh well. I guess that will help a little. Let it roll off there. Look there. <laughs> Crazy. Can't believe it. Put a little PB blaster on them things. They're coming right off there. That's gonna make it a little easier to get that on there because that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run it right up through there. Yes, I did cut that right there a little bit. I've got to do a bunch of work back here anyway. I'll weld that back up. Nobody will ever know. It's getting real. All right, I called in the heavy hitter help this morning, my buddy Steve True. So we're gonna adjust all this stuff here up. Like I said earlier in this thing, my old boss Jerry Fane built this thing and it's had three or four different cars on it. And what they what we've always done was is just made it fit whatever car we was putting on it. So this would be the first good car it's ever had on it. So far it's only had demo junkie Chevrolets on it. So we'll have to do a little minor modification. So that's what we're gonna do now.
it really wasn't all that bad. It just took a long time. But we measured and drilled the holes, got everything bolted down good, got the part that makes it swivel, uh, rotate. We got it off, greened it up, greased it all up good, and um, should have waited done to grease them up parts after we got through messing with it. But anyway, it's ready to work now. So the front was a piece of cake compared to the back. Obviously, there's nothing in the back, in the front, that, to get in your way. You just reached right there to get it. In the back, we had to bust all these bolts and stuff loose off these shackles um, and reach up in there, and everything was up and under there and all contortioned up in order to get up in there at it. But we finally did get it. And there we have it. We just like a few minor adjustments on it's all it is to and everything. And I want you to look at this. Instead of fast speed, we got slow motion right here. I am really trying hard with this editing and stuff. It is so difficult. Well, I thought I had it turned on there. So we got it measured up here. Now, of course, I got to build some, drill some more holes. Oh, my goodness. But we got it on there. Now we just got to get it lined up. Don't stop watching now. The sketchy part's fixing to come up. Tighten your seatbelt. There we go. Dang! Well, now the tractor's moving. So, we're trying to scoop the car up forward is what we're going to do. So, we're going to have to read. Oh, wait, he's got us a scotch on. <clears throat> so we'll see. Here we go. Please don't slip off air. That enough? Nothing to this. Might be why it's hard for me to get any help up here, stuff like this. That good? Okay, nothing to it. Take away over and over. Yeah. Every day. Yep. Right, now we're ready, right? Yep. Now I'm imagining that we want to tighten that up, right? Pretty snug, yes sir. And I would say we would want to tighten that up to where it don't rotate on us too, right? Yep. Is that right? Yep. Right now we don't want it to rotate. We don't want it to do nothing, do we? And this will not fit on me. We don't have to worry about putting this in if you're going to leave it that low. Well, we'll have to raise it up. You know, because we'll have to put it on them on it or it'll get down there and I would never get it off. You know? Mm -hmm. So maybe once I get on this, I can, we'll see if we'll raise the there it should be, it should be. Yep. I'm gonna put this one in the doorway. Well, hang on, Will. Did you tighten this up already? No. I just backed it out too much. I probably got into the piece of threads a little bit. What I was gonna say is I imagine we ought to go ahead and keep jacking it up some more to get that bolt in there now. Yeah, we probably should. You know. But we don't have a hole for it. Oh, you're just gonna put that on yeah. top of the bolt? Yeah, set that on top of it for now, yeah. you know. Oh, that was easy. There it is. <laughs> we, I didn't know we were that close. I thought we were several inches away. There we go. There's that, right? Oh, no, there's just one hole in this. That's not it. All right, so let me get on it. Of course. Side, you put that fork under that. Now, let's see, we got some to put under it. Put the, well, I got the four before there's a scotch. Yeah. Put that little short piece of tube in if you want to. Yeah, we can put that under there, can't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Let me just scoot it in here with the tractor then. Why don't you bring the fork right here? Let me, all right. Put them close together and come and get this bar that we got bolted on and just pick it up by the bar. Concerns me now. One thing concerns me when we try to push this off without that pop connecting them, yep. that thing's gonna be this way. I know it, I know it. So, we got to figure out that deal, right? I'm not sure we're gonna be able to figure that out. All right, here we go. See, said we've done pretty good, we ain't done too much redneck stuff, but we're fixing to get redneck all the pieces right here because we're gonna need some. I don't know all kinds of stuff, but we've not used any, what'd you say, duct tape or the cutting torch, or the cutting torch yet. So, so we're still, we're still on the professional side of it. So unless we have to get the torch out or some duct tape, we're going to get it. We got to figure out how to get this thing now off the trailer. So this is what we've come up with. I think it looks perfectly safe. I believe it'll work. All right, here we go. This is just a test run. Let me get this thing up where you get the dang truck will get. The trailer will come out from under it. Alright. Here we go. Let's try it right there. Look at that. That's high enough, ain't it? Well, but will them boards hold it right there? Will they break, you think? All right. We're gonna do a little assessment here. All right, I found two more old half rod two for sixes. Now we got four under there. Sure to good, this that'll work.
roll out from under it though. It ain't got no drive shaft or nothing in it. Woo! Sketchy. But we're getting there. Main thing is up here is you gotta be careful because everything up here will either bite you, stick you, poke you, or cut you. And you just gotta make sure that you ain't got nothing that you don't want any of that stuff done to underneath everything. But so far, so good. But uh, we got to think about the reason we've done this right here was is, is we got afraid that if we tried to roll it off like we initially planned, since there's not any braces under here, it would kick this thing out and tire the rotisserie up and bend all that stuff up. So that's what we're trying to figure out here not to do. So nothing, a John Deere tractor, a 55 gallon barrel, a Jeep, a winch, and a good car for you. Well, here we go. Check it out. Look there. Nothing to it. Oh, about locked all the tools off here. We got all excited here. We got about to getting the tools off the trailer. My bad. Hang on, hang on, we got it. <laughs> Go ahead. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God. Now it's on there. It's on there. Look at that. Nothing to it. I wouldn't want to be under there giving it no oil change or nothing, but, but hey, it's on there. Okay, all joking apart, this here was probably the most nerve-wracking part of it. That thing was up on the front of it, which was sturdy. It was up on the back with those tuba sixes. There's four tuba sixes up there holding it, but it's still on a 55 gallon barrel and a tractor. So we were very, very careful. Um, we never really got underneath the car. We did everything we could from outside the car and we finally got it up there. And once we got it up there, then we felt a little more safe about it. But until then we were being very, very careful. get it adjusted but it's on there all right it's on there but that don't mean it's on there good so now we've got to figure out we gotta we had to take the wheels off that i just put on there because we couldn't get to raise up higher so when we raise that up higher we're going to have to let this down move these up a little bit but i'm also going to drill all the way through it when we get it set level and then it's angled in so we got to swish it in there a little bit and uh tighten it up up here and get that back in the center there but anyway we've got it on there so far so good no blood bruises missed fingers nothing right nothing but shows <laughs> sometimes you got to use a hammer oh yeah get on there now <laughs> oh my god it's on there now it's on there Here. Yeah, get to move again. We messed up and uh, I didn't, it didn't, win, it didn't win anyway. All right, we're going to see if it's going to move. Boom. At least we know it's going to rotate around and stuff and got it up on there. Balanced pretty good, right? Yeah, it's a little bottom heavy. But that's a little bottom heavy, but we got to get the, I got to get the suspension out of it. And once all that's out of it, then I'll reposition it. But if nothing else, Project Recreate, my first car is on the rotisserie. Now I like finishing. I'm gonna try to figure out how to get this rear end out from under now. Am I hitting it? Oh,
rotate it up and get the other side. Yeah, all right. All right. Now we got it up here in the air and we have rolled it over. You ever heard that? Roll her over. But, uh, shoot, I'm pretty happy with what we got looking at here. No, no big surprises. All that's all really good and solid, which I thought it was. You can see all that over there is all good and solid. Rocker panels all good and solid all the way down through there. Cross braces is all good. Floor braces is all good. Got a little bit of damage here, but that's just dragging it, you know. But nothing there. Up here in the front, we got just a tiny little bit right there. Yeah. Really happy with it now we got it up in here. So just basic sheet metal stuff. Rocker panels, check that out. That's crazy that they've lasted that long and been that good. While we had it up in the air, Steve suggested that we just go ahead and take the rear end and the front suspension out while I had some help. And I do appreciate him helping me out today because it made it a lot easier. Well, we burnt the phone up battery up, so you missed the part of us climbing under there about and getting our full self killed, getting that thing out of there. But the rear end's out of it now. The rear end's out of it. Brake cables is off of it. And the front suspension is off of it, except for just a couple little pieces. My goodness, it's happening. That's a long Saturday. It's on there. Steve rotated it there a second ago. Probably gonna have to do a little bit of adjusting on it. We probably need to get in here on the flat part in there too. But, I mean, I don't, I'm gonna be doing it by myself, so I don't want that thing. As long as it'll roll, I'm good. Yeah, I, that'll work. Look at that. Boom. That's right. We're in business. Got to sit in the barn until we can, until I get back. I need to get a bigger, I need to get a better hook on it. Well, it's on there. It's time for the fun stuff now. Where I've been posting all these videos of the little parts and all that stuff like that and everything. Time to get serious now. Now we're in the part I like. So it's on there. <clears throat> what I thought would take a couple hours only took us about six and a half hours straight through. No lunch, no break. We was getting it. Appreciate my buddy Steve True, but we've got it up on here. Time to build a car. Again, I'm just totally shocked at how good this car still is. I posted some pictures of it and of when I was still sitting over in a junkyard in there on one of these Falcon sites, and they were laughing and like, oh, my goodness, you'll never be able to fix it. But and this thing is in really good shape. Cannot wait. Hope you check it out as we finish this up a car. Thank you all.